it's Grace the Book Lady, and I've got another story for you today. It's not a fairy tale, but I think you'll like it just the same. It is called Snack Attack by Terry Border. And that is the cover. Snack Attack. Here we go. One afternoon, a cheese doodle, a pretzel stick, and a cookie all escaped from their packages. And even though they had been warned about the outside world, there were monsters, they'd heard, with big teeth and slobbery tongues who ate snacks like them in two loud chomps. Well, here they are. Sorry, he's escaping his bag. The cookie's escaping his cookie box. And Pretzel's helping them out. And do you see their glasses? I love their glasses. But wherever they seemed to go, it seemed fun, not dangerous. They made a slide. Isn't that wonderful? They're having a good time. Let's see what they get up to next. They even went boating on a pond. <laughs> they went boating in the kitchen sink with all the soapy water. Look at that. They're having the best day ever. Then they found the note. Let me read it to you. Hi, kiddo. I hope you had a good day at school. I had to go out, so I left you some snacks. I'll be home late. Love, Mom. Oh, no, cried Cookie. She means us. Cookie was a very smart cookie. There's the note. And they're reading. What's going to happen? Pretzel and Cheese Doodle asked what a kid was. A kid is a kind of monster, said Cookie. Like the ones we were warned about. They're giants. A monster kid can hold all three of us in their humongous dirty hands. And they can squash us to bits. Yikes, yelled Pretzel. They're imagining the monster hand. Oh dear, very scary. There's even more, said Cookie. They can swallow us all in one monstrous gulp. I feel faint, said Pretzel. We have to come up with a plan, quick. And there's the monstrous tongue eating them all up. Oh dear. Cheese Doodle had heard about a thing called the five second rule where monsters won't eat food if it had been on the floor for f longer than five seconds. Let's roll on the floor for six seconds and make the kid not want to eat us, he said. Nope, said Cookie. That only works with monster moms, not kids. Cheese Doodle came up with another idea. Maybe they could hide. Yeah, see, they're trying to muss themselves up. See, with, him, with his dustpan. I wonder what idea they come up with. Cheese Doodle got one last idea, his best one yet. He turned over the note and wrote on the other side. Here's the note. Dear kid, please drink some water and eat nothing else. From your loving mama. As soon as the note was finished, they heard footsteps. Footsteps of a monster kid. There they are. I must say, the note sounds like it's a good idea. Let's see if it works. The snacks closed their eyes and tried their best not to shake in fear. While the monster kid read the note, Cheese Doodle took a quick peek and was quite surprised. Pretzel peeked too. She couldn't believe what she saw. Although Monster Kid was a giant, he didn't look like a monster at all. The Monster Kid got some water from the sink and took a nice long sip. So there's Pretzel. He's taking a peek. I think it worked. I think they're safe. Let's see. 
My plan worked, said Cheese Doodle. Once the kid left, what a relief. He is just mopping his brow in relief. Look at that. They're safe. It didn't seem unhappy about the glass of water, said Pretzel. Maybe we can be friends with the monster kid. I think we can, said Cheese Doodle. How about you, Cookie? Hey, Cookie, where are you? So they're doing a high five or a little dance or something. But uh, Cookie's not around. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh, Cookie? Yeah. Yeah, Cookie didn't make it. Yep, there's his glasses. I think the monster kid ate him. Oh, well. That is the end of Snack Attack by Terry Border. What sort of snacks do you like? I know I love cheese doodles. And I like these too. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.